Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This video is going to be very exciting because I'm going to try some new lip formulas from Kika Milano from their regular line. They came out with a new long lasting liquid lipstick that is supposed to be transfer proof, a very long lasting, a very nice feeling on the lips. And I thought this sounded so interesting, so I really wanted to try it. I got two shades that I'm going to try out today. And I also got the Kika Milano Lip Volume Lip Creme, which I thought looked so interesting, like this light pinky shade. It's supposed to have like a plumping effect to it. And I thought this one looks so interesting, like the packaging with the light pinky shade. So we're going to try that as well today. I am so excited to see what these new lip formulas are about. So let's get into it. So let's start out with the lip volume. This is $6.99, at least in the Netherlands. And I got this shade 0122 Rose. And it's a plumping effect lip cream. When I swatched it, it was pretty much see-through, but it still had this kind of like light pink effect to it. This is supposed to be hydrating and perfect and Kiko says it adds like a little bit of color to the lips. So I was actually thinking to apply this first to kind of hydrate my lips and see if that works because my lips are pretty dry. They're a little bit crusty. So let's see how this looks, how this feels. It feels definitely creamy. It also feels slightly minty, slightly tingly. It is a very interesting thing. It does have this slightly like cool tone pinky perfecting quality to it, but it's also kind of showing um, like dry pieces of skin. But I've also been trying to kind of scrub my lips before this video, just so that's kind of what you're seeing right now. I actually quite like it. I feel like this is a very easy thing to wear, just with a very simple kind of no makeup makeup look. It has a really nice feeling on the lips. It is not too thick or goopy, but it's also not this very thin formula that's gonna disappear off your lips right away, I feel like. The tingliness or the minty sensation is very subtle. I wouldn't say that if you don't like plumping things, that you should steer clear of this one. I feel like it's so minimal that it doesn't really bother me in any way. Yeah, I quite like this product so far. I'm not gonna do a wear test today because I'm really diving into these liquid lipsticks. That's the main reason I wanted to make this video. But so far, I quite like this lip cream. All right, I took off the lip cream. Let's see what Kiko has to say about these long wearing liquid lipsticks. So officially these are called the Lessing Matte Veil Liquid Lip Color. And I believe there are 10 shades of this, some nude shades, some brighter shades, a lot of different options. It's supposed to be full pigment. It has jojoba oil in it. It's supposed to be long wearing up to 10 hours, which I think is quite a claim. And it's also supposed to be non-transfer and the applicator is especially developed to apply the liquid lipstick very precisely. And I have to say that the applicator is quite like small and precise, which I quite like. So I got two of the shades. Let's start out with shade 07. This is kind of like a cool toned pinky shade, a little bit on the brighter side almost, but still toned down enough, I feel, to wear as kind of like a everyday lipstick. I really love these types of shades, so I was really like excited to pick this one up to try this one out. I did think they had a pretty interesting shade selection. And then the other shade that I got is this shade 05, which is more of a toned down kind of lilac -y nude. It has a little bit of a grayness to it, but at the same time, it's still pinky and kind of lilac -y enough that it still looks fresh and it still has its freshness to it. I actually got these yesterday. I got these from the store yesterday and I was like, you know what? I really want to have some thoughts already to already let you know some things in my first impression because, because I feel like wearing liquid lipsticks like these for a longer time can tell you a lot. So I was eating with this. I was drinking with this. My lips were very dry. So I really wanted to see how it would feel and look throughout the day. So I already tested these out a little bit, but let's just go into application. I want to show you these shades. I want to show you how they look on the lips. So I'm going to start with the shade 05. So you can definitely see that this is a very lilac -y shade. It definitely has this lilac -y vibe to it, but I really love it because sometimes these lilac type shades can pull quite gray, but I feel like this one is just fresh enough to really work. It's kind of like this fresh, still neutral, but 
just adding a little bit of interesting color to the look vibe. I think that these liquid lipsticks look really nice on the lips. They are definitely matte. They are very matte formula. They dry down like a quite powdery finish. Very lightweight. You almost don't feel it on the lips. It is very, very like soft feeling on the lips. And this is how much comes off right now. But yesterday when I wore it during the day, I don't know if it's like fully dry now, but during the day I was eating, I was drinking and I didn't feel like it really wore off. I was drinking some tea and usually that is like a really good test. And on the rim of the mug, there was like basically no color being left on there. So that is like a really great thing and something that I really love about these and I was really impressed with. And I feel like they also smooth over the lips pretty well. Like I have pretty dry lips, which is not the best, which is not the best, but it's a good test. It's a good way to test these out. And I'm actually really impressed so far with these. Like just the feel on the lips, the way they wear, it's pretty impressive. I'm actually really impressed with these. I would say though that they are so lightweight that they don't really add any moisture. They don't take away moisture. It's not like they dry out your lips, but they also don't really add anything. So I would say maybe apply a little lip balm before you apply these. I wouldn't really like leave that on, but just make sure your lips are a little bit moisturized, then put these on and then I think you're gonna be good to go. All right, so this is shade number five. I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna try the shade that I haven't tried yet. This one I wore yesterday, the shade 07, I haven't worn yet. I would say that these remove pretty easily pretty quickly I'm just using some micellar water I don't have to use any waterproof makeup remover it's not like this very sticky almost like latexy feeling layer on the lips that you have to scrub off so even though they are very long wearing if you just go over it with some makeup remover you're gonna be good it's not gonna be like a harsh scrub to take it off so let's move on to shade 07 So this is shade 07 and I have to say this one also is such a cute shade. I really like how this looks on the lips. It is like this cool toned, almost brighter pink, but it's still toned down enough for me at least to wear in kind of everyday looks. I love how it kind of like smooths over the lips. It just makes my lips look very good and it just feels good as well. I feel like adding just a little bit of moisture before I applied these really made them work even better for me than I already thought they were working. I would say that the feel of these is very similar to the Beauty Essentials Color Flush 3-in-1 that you can use on the cheeks and on the lips. I feel like it's really that kind of lightweight powdery finish that just feels very like effortless throughout the day. You don't really have to think about it. It is just a very, very nice liquid lipstick formula. I am so impressed. I really love the shades that I chose. What I also like about these is that I don't feel like these liquid lipsticks turn darker when they dry because I have tried liquid lipsticks where I've swatched them, where I have looked at them in a the bullet and thought that is my perfect shade. And then I had them on for the day and they turned way too dark for me. But these shades, really impressed me like i really like them i know that is a personal thing but the formula as well so cute okay so let's do a quick roundup before i end the video these liquid lipsticks 05 and 07 i'm really really impressed by them i actually really love this formula and i'm so happy that it is lightweight and long wearing at the same time i can really see myself wearing these a lot because they just seem like these fuss very easy to wear lip products which I really love I want to try them with some lip liners as well I want to try them with some lip gloss as well and I will come back to you with my final review in a little bit in like a new makeup updates video but so far I am really impressed and I feel like these are kind of on their way to become like one of my favorite liquid lipsticks formulas in my collection because they are just very affordable, very cute shades, so nice feeling on the lips and also 
transfer proof like i would say about 95 percent transfer proof it kind of depends how thick of a layer of these you apply what you're eating what you're drinking but i really feel like these are really long wearing and then of course the little bonus in this video the lip volume i have to test it out a little bit more but i actually really enjoyed it just feeling it on the lips it felt very creamy very hydrating and i can't wait to try this out a little more okay the sun is starting to shine this is gonna be everything for today's video thanks so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you're picking up any of these lip products and then i'll see you in my next video bye bye